Yes, me and uh, Gary, my brother, took our pelts in at Christmas time, and uh, I don't know how much we got, about 14 bucks, I think. We, I bought three boxes of uh, mandarin oranges, and then he, we went home, and he paid for the cab, and he was sitting in the back seat, and I, we laughed when we got in the house. He says, here's your money, taxi. <laughs> It was only about three sixty-five, I think, to yeah. go home. The, when you turned on the meter, it was only ten ten cents, I think, oh, really? ten days. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of pelts did you sell to get? Oh, that? we were selling weasels. We had weasels and squirrels, and I think one mink. I'm not sure. Yeah, one mink. Uh, we split the money. And who did you sell it to in the town? Oh, the local uh, general store there, Mister LaFrance. Mm -hmm. LaFrance's store. They used to buy pelts from. Everybody, all the local Métis people that were trapping. Yeah. What was the preferred pelt, or what was worth the most at that time? Well, I imagine uh, lynx were worth more than squirrels, but uh, all we caught was squirrels and weasels. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the spring, we used to get beaver, too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Did you bring those pelts in as well, the beaver? No, or? my dad used to ship them to Winnipeg. I see. Yeah, because him and another guy used to go out for one or two weeks at a time, the way out, and they'd come back with 50, 60 beaver or something like that, and then send them to Winnipeg for a fur sale. Yeah. And you said you used to eat beaver as well a lot, or did or you eat these meats as well? Just uh, when we went out in the bush and stayed overnight, if we didn't pack too much no, you know, food, we boil up some porridge and throw a hind quarter of a beaver in there and boil it. And how was that? Is it good? Uh, or? A little barky sometimes, you know, popular, <laughs> you know, popular taste to it, but it kept us alive. <laughs>